so I know that I said that I would be uh, recording again for last week, but unfortunately I wasn't able to uh, because I've had a couple things uh, going on during that time. One work was a bit catching up, so uh, I have to really focus on that. Uh, and two, I had a lot of opportunities to be hanging out with friends and doing things with them, so I've been taking advantage of that, uh, trying to uh, spend time with them and I try to balance um, going to work, working out, and having a social life. Uh, and with that, it has kind of damaged a little bit of the progress that I'm trying to make. Uh, if anything, it stagnated it. It didn't really uh, blow me up or anything like that. But one thing that I started to notice while I was um, not doing as much with working out, hanging out with friends and all that stuff was uh, my eating habits were starting to revert back to what they normally were, which was essentially just eating fast food, taking the cheap way, cheap way out, uh, and not spending time focusing on making the food, picking the food, things that I want to eat, uh, so on and so forth. So. Um, with bad choices comes uh, consequences, uh, and part of those consequences were uh, trying to essentially make me lazy once again and try to stop all the work that I'm trying to go towards. So I'm trying to put more of an effort into eating better things, but end up being the question of what are those things that I want to eat. Um, originally, I would just have chicken and some broccoli, and I have a bag of rice that I would make. Uh, uh, basically the standard bodybuilder chicken, broccoli, and rice. Nothing too crazy, right? Um, and it would get boring sometimes, and then I started incorporating other things like uh, beef patties, the frozen beef patties that you would get from Costco. Um, and they helped out a little bit too, um, with a bit of mustard, uh, some sugar-free ketchup, uh, basically make like an open-faced burger, essentially. Uh, but Eventually that started getting a bit boring, uh, and I started noticing that those calories on said burger were massive, in a sense. I think it was like, I think it's like over 300-something calories, uh, simply because it, the burgers themselves were 80-20. And I started noticing that I was getting bored of having the burgers, because the burgers you can't really do too much about. Uh, they're frozen beef patties. You can't really season them beforehand. You have to do it after and hope that the oils that came out of the burger maybe will go back in and get reabsorbed and the salt and all that stuff will also go with. Uh, so I started wanting to phase it out, but I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to do like a ground meat essentially, but I didn't know if I wanted to go down the beef route because beef typically has 80-20 cuts. So instead, because I do like Costco and their selections and I've always been curious, I've decided to go down this route. Ground bison. Now, what's the cool thing about the ground bison? Well, the first thing is that it is 90-10 uh, in terms of uh, like fat to lean ratio. So that's pretty cool. Less fat means less calories uh, and more emphasis on the protein, uh, especially when I think this is about a little over a pound. Um, so a serving size is about four ounces, um, 190 calories, and 23 grams of protein. So, and the whole thing, according to this, five servings per container. Uh, so multiply all that by five, that's what, 115 grams of protein for over, a th like, a thousand, uh, no, probably like, like around 900 to a thousand grams, or grams, one, 900 to a thousand calories, get that right, <laughs> that way I don't sound like I don't know what I'm talking about, and in part maybe I don't, because I'm more new to this, so please excuse me. But I like the ground bison more than uh, the beef because one, um, I feel like it being 90-10, I'm sure there's 90-10 cuts for beef, but I kind of like the taste of bison in this sense. It's more readily available uh, at Costco uh, than most other places are, and that's in Costco is where I do mainly my shopping, with the exception of like produce and all that stuff. Um, and it's actually kind of surprising how close in taste it is to beef. Um, I tried making kebab style, like 
with uh, the bison, uh, with all the seasonings and stuff, and it actually came out pretty nice. Uh, only thing that didn't come out was the actual kebab itself. It, even though I used one whole egg in that entire thing, um, it didn't hold on the skewer, so I just turned them into patties. <laughs> but, I mean, whatever works, right? Uh, but it tasted pretty good. I liked the it, like I cooked all the way through. Um, because I don't know exactly, I mean, I think it says somewhere on here, cook to like 160, but I don't have a thermometer, and I don't really 100% care, so long as it's not completely dry all the way through, I think it should be fine. I mean, in the end, I'm just looking to put food in my system, and when it tastes kind of good, it tastes kind of good. When I'm eating for myself, I don't care how it comes out, so long as I'm not poisoning myself. So, I think that's my outlook on it. If I were cooking for somebody else, I'd put way more effort into it, but when it's just me, who cares? Now, of course I still have chicken, like I still have chicken breast um, that I use every now and then. Uh, throw that in the air fryer, put a little bit of olive oil on it so that way like I can get some taste because uh, chicken breast on its own is very bland. So having that helps out a lot, but other than the main proteins, the other things that we have to talk about, of course, are snacks, right? So the hardest part about snacks is protein snacks aren't always the best tasting, but at the very least, uh, they can help you uh, in the sense with uh, moving forward and getting that protein into your system. So one of those things is this. I don't know how well that's coming out, but... Um, this is cool because at least it gives like that sweet like desire like a cookie and all that stuff. Uh, the amount of calories it has is 210 for one cookie uh, and 8 grams of protein. So it might not be the most efficient snack in terms of getting protein uh, in and less calories, but I mean at least it does something. It's not just a plain sugar cookie that uh, is just nothing but calories, empty calories, and has no protein in it, right? Uh, the other one is this. So, the beef jerky from Costco is not that bad. I mean, it's, it's, it's just beef jerky in the end. Um, but it says here, 60 calories for one serving, uh, one serving being one ounce, which you're not going to eat just one ounce. Um, and it has about 9 grams of protein. So, cool thing is, like, you can eat, like, 1, 2, 3, 5, like, put, like, 300 calories into your system, and then on top of that, you're putting, like, 45 grams of protein. So, that would be, like, almost on par with the bison. <laughs> almost, like, readily available bison. But, of course, treat this as a snack. You don't treat it as, like, a full meal. Um, and then, of course, I have other snacks, too. Uh, like little protein bars, um, and then little protein drinks if you want to consider those snacks, like Fair Life and Premier Protein, like the little like readily available ones, I just throw them in the fridge because I like them cold. I don't know if it affects the shelf life of it, but I mean, it does what it does. But the other cool thing, the other snack that I like uh, from Costco that I found recently, a while back, that I had once, and uh, it went away after the first time I bought it. Like, it went away for, like, three months. It was just gone. And then sometime, like, Tuesday or Wednesday, it came back. Uh, I was like, holy crap. Like, I need to get, like, at least two bags. Because I know that I'm going to be snacking on them because they were just so good. Uh, and that's this. Now, what's cool about this, you probably saw immediately from the very, like, front that I showed you, it said 10 grams of protein. Uh, why is that? What is it in, in the first place either? So, essentially they're chips. They're kind of like potato chips, but the difference is there's no potato in it at all. There are starches. Like there's tapioca starch, um, modified tapioca starch, uh, but the main ingredient, the number one ingredient on this is antibiotic-free chicken breast. The fact that that's number one is absolutely insane. To me, at least. Um, and on top of that, you have other ingredients too, like egg white and chicken bone broth. 
uh, that are in the top five. Like the egg white's number four, and the chicken bone broth is number five in, on the ingredient list out of like ten ingredients. And a lot of the other ingredients are like salt, pepper, vinegar, paprika, all that stuff. So it's a pretty natural-ish kind of snack um, that acts like chips. But the chips are made of chicken. So then you're probably wondering, like, well, like, what are the nutrition facts on this thing? Like, it, it already sounds kind of too good to be true. Is it what you say it is? And <coughs> a serving size is about 24 chips or 30 grams. So that's decent because most serving sizes for most chips is like 5 or 12 at the most. Um, and the amount of calories for those... 30 grams of chips is 160. So we're already significantly less than this. And then as you saw from the front, 10 grams of protein. So bringing this back, this right here has more calories and less protein than this. The other thing about this too is this has seven servings per container so if you just went away and just or just went at it and just ate the whole thing in one sitting you'd probably get around like 1100 calories into your system but you'd still get 70 grams of protein so that's something that you could probably work off and all that however you wish but uh, at least um, it's a pretty hefty chunk of protein that you're throwing into your system with something like that and the taste of it's actually pretty amazing like you, know, you can tell if you like really like piece it in your head um oh and like it doesn't taste like potato but at the very least it does taste like barbecue not barbecue sorry buffalo chicken um i don't know if they have other flavors i'm actually curious uh costco only carries this one uh, i can look them up but the fact that it tastes like buffalo chicken uh, is absolutely insane to me um, one, because it actually is chicken, and two, it's seasoned like buffalo chicken, so why wouldn't it? Um, but yeah, I think, uh, uh, from what I have, other than, like, other things like fruits, uh, and veggies, you know, like, I have bananas and apples and kiwis and broccoli and string beans and all that stuff, so that way I can at least make, uh, protein shakes, um, uh, all that have some veg on the side with the meat that I have that way I have some fiber in my system um, I'm trying to maintain what I have uh, in my fridge and cook everything that I have and try and focus on that is it gonna be expensive yeah probably I mean th this stuff wasn't cheap like this I mean nine bucks oh wow nine bucks but like when you live on your own um, you have to stretch your dollar as much as you can I think the the bison was closer to like twelve or thirteen dollars, uh, and it comes in like a two pack. But I'm not entirely sure if they're um, priced like for as the pack or like each. So, and this is like, I think this is pretty expensive too. This is like sixteen bucks. Like everything is just getting expensive. But I guess that's the price you have to pay to. Uh, not have to eat out and uh, put like essentially bad foods in your system but I mean there is ways to go about fast food um, and have better choices but it looks like we're getting to about the 14 minute mark so I think I'm gonna call it from here um, from what I weighed as of today I'm still about around 228 um, I'm going to be going to the gym later tonight. I just had a couple things I need to do. Um, but as of right now, that's where I stand. Um, I have a plan in terms of how I'm going to be eating, what things I'm going to be eating. Uh, and maybe next week uh, I can talk a little bit about uh, how I go about fast food. So with that, I'll catch all of y'all later. Peace.